previously on the best automatic, yeah, the video editor has got his own little 37 views in a month. Yeah, he's responsible for doing the beginning and of editing on our show, or what? So he had long hair, and he's very happy now he's cut his hair, or what? <laughs> then he's happy now he's cut it. But no, this is a disturbing the news. We it's found really somebody on YouTube who doesn't actually you. understand the movie. Yeah, that brilliant yeah. movie. We're all going about. Oh, he's up here. He's lorry and he's having his hair cut. She doesn't understand the <laughs> movie. The but cat. yeah, so let's get on with this show. No, what? No, so we're on the part of the show we are now. Now well, it's all getting all boring and all that stuff. But the thing is, yeah, we're still on that challenge. So here it is. Let's put the footage on or what? Well, I think it was unfair that you've used money and not telling me. Now, now the thing is that what? Would you have any point system because it costs money or what? And we spent it on because we all got the proper vehicle or what? Yeah, but that's not fair. Now, I don't want to hear about you. What, let's just listen to me some interesting facts. Yeah, because she spoke through it from my vanishing point special. <laughs> well, let's speak on this bit. No, this bit's important because we're all stuck. Yeah, you lost time. You tried swearing on that bit because you're under them and um, poo pipes. Yeah, well. Just let the insurance investigator get her out of her system because we're all being naughty disrespecting the police by calling them funny names. What, calling them police? Following on from the last episode, we're now starting with C words. So, candy car slang in the UK due to the lively shade of being yellow and blue same with yellow and green ambulance and fire service trucks being red and yellow plus yellow and black for motorway vehicles so you'll never think the same of one bars nerds fruit sellers blackjacks lemon sherbets the same way again if you don't know what these are these are retro sweets which is where the candy's car term comes from now the other one is cherry toppers not poppers but toppers or cherry tops or cherries for police cars that have red lights in many nations or US states. Number one beginning we see is CHIMS, a UK slang for community support officers, an acronym for being completely useless in most policing situations, but a lot of the time they're used for first contact in non-emergencies like theft, like me when I had one of my vehicles um, stolen once, um, I got one of these and they couldn't really do much. And then there's a, a chin, meaning dog in Quebec, a ferry geography term. Chips, a Californian highway patrol officer. A trooper J, a check for hairy. Chota, Hispanic American slang. City kitty, slang for police officers. Clear, a term used by police, FBI and SWAT teams um, that have swept an area and no criminal activity is taking place. Kong sounds familiar, it should do, it means be up. It's using Les Miserables by Victor Hugo in 1862 on page 1261. Chop Shop, US, UK and Australian use this term for police station and name to a very long running Australian TV series. Cop, copper or copper, again copper, the original unshortened word for someone who captures. The term cop is recorded in the Oxford Dictionary in 1704, derived from the old caper in French. The why is unknown, some think, copper buttons on the policeman's uniform. Or abbreviation for constable on patrol, or constable of police, or chief of police. This one's quite interesting. Cosmonaut, or cosmonaut, a Russian police equivalent. Um, what's um, what's equipped with riot gear? That's literally a cosmonaut, and that's not slang, surprisingly, because of all the equipment they have to wear. Um, and the next one is crusher, which is UK Victorian era term for police, as they wore beetle crushers in reference to their heavy boots they wore in that era. And constable, a derogatory UK term for 
Pure Tomorrow, a linguistic blend of constable and, well, you can guess, a C-U-N-T or C-U next Tuesday, another polite way to say this. Now on to the D's. Dibble, a fictional police officer in the well-known 1961 and 1962, the 30 episodes of the ABC network cartoon Top Cat, but British adapted it for slang term for police. Another very well-known one is Dick's slang for detectives, originated in Canada but brought south um, by rum rummers during the Prohibition in America. Later this was used for a famous comic strip, Dick Tracy. In Australia they call female police officers Dickless Tracys. And then there's Divvy Vans, slang for police van as it was divisional van, to be confined. Um, in Victoria and Western Australia. Dogs as a Polish slang uh, for police like UK pigs and Donut Patrol and unhealthy police officers in the United States. Famous image in movies but comes from night shift officers stopping at donut shops for coffee as these used to be the only catering establishments that were open all night for their caffeine fix. A time before energy drinks 24 hour drive through and supermarkets then we're going on to F and um, this is quite interesting Shogobot, an old Hungarian meaning woodcoat from the brown vinyl jackets part of the police uniform in the socialist era Feds, very easy from movies, are United States federal law enforcement agencies like Federal Bureau of Investigation or Marshal Services but also used in Australia for their federal police and London slang for metropolitan police and very close federal is Spanish for the Mexican federal police. Theo, taken from the Spanish word ugly, a slang term used mostly by Puerto Rican and Dominican communities in Philadelphia, New York. Filth, UK and other Commonwealth countries like New Zealand and Australia inspired by Irving Welsh's novel Filth, a sequel crime book published in 2008 and then adapted into a movie in 2013. Five or Hawaii Five, a TV series set in Hawaii. Alright, alright, yeah, alright. So we'll get back to the main feature. You can hear a lot of that twaddle later on, my baby, hopefully. It's not twaddle. Right, 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 right. We're waiting for, we're waiting for the vanishing point now. I'm introducing my version. And you're going to like my mouth, all right? So here's the video. So the first thing I had to do is put on this lovely motor. As you know, we're going to go for white, obviously. And thank you, Rockstar, for bringing this motor out. Yeah, and you're spending our budget. Yeah, obviously I'm spending the budget. Right, so this is a bit I'm going to tell you about. Right, see, same Paul. Yeah, we're going round the like. And I'm going to do it different. What do you mean different? What's this bit? Well, it's like a bonus bit. Or what? I mean, this guy's offer to help us, right? Our gimp. He's going to challenge the gimp. Why is he challenging the game? Well, it's like special features on the DVD. You get bonuses if you buy the DVD. We ain't selling any DVDs. Well, I might do in the future. But anyhow, I thought it'd be nice for YouTube and now everybody else can watch this stuff for free. What do you mean for free? Look, we've got this guy. He's in that black charger from the other vanishing point. Um. 97 it came out right and you got um, John Boy Walter the summer you know John Boy you know in that program when they used to say good night or it can be imitating the um, Quentin Tarantino um, film that uh, I was dead dead what we did something in it oh man what, what are you doing bruv you're messing this up Hey, that's right, you are. And I'm not. What? Yeah, you know, Quentin Tarantino did that, you know, dead proof. That's it. What? Oh, I couldn't help it. You're not good at this. Well, look at the gimp, right? The gimp's doing marvellously, isn't he? He's actually 
beating the hand the pants out of this young whippersnapper. Well, what? 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 Right. I'm going a bit, little bit more modern, racing you in the black. I uh, think oh, you've got the wrong idea. I think you were driving the Vin Diesel one. What Vin Diesel one? It's not a diesel, it's a petrol engine vehicle. No, you didn't wait. The Fast and Furious. Right, so this is the part I'm going to... What's that down there? Oh, sorry. Right. Just get on with it. I am. This is my bit. I'm talking a lot. So now we're featurely getting to the feature of how fast this motor is. Because it's a lovely motor. Lack of the game. There he is. Going to do the speed challenge and read it and weep, everybody. Or what? You know, because this motor is the bee's knees. Or what? What do you mean the bee's knees? I mean, my car is modern and it'll beat that old thing. Or what? All right. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's all over the place. Look, it's, all, it's doing the impression of the motorbike there. Even the gimp don't like it. Look, he nearly skinned it out of control there. No, he didn't. He, that's that skill driving that. He's driving like that um that guy what was on um drugs and daydreaming when he was driving. Um Barry Newman, some it No That was um Chowowski. No, I, I watched in the film Vanishing Point. His, his name's different. Yes, but the fight is, he's an actor and he's playing a character called Chowowski. And he, he's a, like a policeman, a ex motorbike cyclist, and a racing car driver, and all that lot. You, you mean you're trying to impress in the film? Don't mind that, he's nearly there, he's done it now, a radiant weight ride, so what's so out luck at this? Oh, blame me. You know, oh, you're making a mess of this. Oh, no, I'm not, oh, all right, look, 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 look at the time what the gimp did, oh, what? Did a brilliant job. What? So, right, so we're now we're on to the part we need to know. Benefactor Glendale, 1 minute and 17. De Classe Viegro, 1 minute and 18. Bravado Gauntlet, 1 minute and 12. And today's Bravado Gauntlet Classic, 1 minute and 15 seconds. So it's on the feature what we're waiting for. Alright, what, what the hell's that over there? What in the mind? The feature! Right, we're at the location for the new Vanishing Point Challenge. We're matching all the police cards up and all that. Look, so here I am. I've got some serious hardware to rob for the plastic bag. Alright, so I'm on my way. What the hell are you using? What? What are you doing with? What are you doing with some bullets like that? They're expensive. Look, nah, I'm trying to rob for the plastic bag. Alright, so I've got in my vehicle. I didn't even do my voice and all that. Look, like you're interrupted. No, it's not. I wanted to do it really gangster style. Wait, what are you doing now? You're going the wrong way. I'm not going the wrong way. I said I'm going a different. What are you spending that? What was what, that about? Thing dropping down. Well, it, it cost a lot of money. Is that why I didn't have one for my version? Well, yeah. I'll take the budget out there. That's all fair. You're just taking the mick. Look, fellas. You, you, you're meant to be doing vanishing point and making it all nice and educational about this classic movie. And you're ruining it. Yeah, but you're spending the budget on fancy little things like that. I didn't have that on my video. I'll stop being a bloody cry baby. All right. So you're ruining it. All right. Look, fellas, you're, you're destroying American classic movie for us all. I mean, why don't you cry out some, some serious facts about the damn gone movie? Or at least about the damn gone motor. Right, whilst you presenters are all you're arguing. Don't get, give me, you know, well, you're not doing the show, so I might as well. So I'm going to do some facts yeah, about what you're supposed to be doing. 
So from the original movie, all the Dodge Challengers were sold at a 1971 salvage auction at Los Angeles for scrap. That's right, all four Challengers were scrap. Obviously in a time before iconic movie cars were saved and restored. However, the second Vanishing Point movie done in 1966, most of the cars used still survive today, except one. What used to actually destroy a Dodge Challenger when it went into the bulldozer at the end. But the original movie didn't destroy a Challenger, they used a cheaper car. Surprising as the TV movie's budget was lower than the original cinema version. If you want if you want to see the original Heroes Dodge Challenger from the B movie, please go to CUDA at Floyd Garrett's Muscle Car Museum at Shubaville, Tennessee that Ted lovingly restored to be the best condition Dodge Challenger today. But don't be disappointed to see the Dodge perfectly pearly white as the dirt look wasn't done by desert dirt that but ground up copy ground it up and set in place with liberal amounts of hairspray but you don't try this look at home as it were close to impossible to scrub off and keep the original paintwork on underneath at Floyd Garrett's Muscle Car Museum you can see 90 muscle cars modern ones and classic ones here classic cars however are key for the classic petrol head with its amazing different era 50s decor, gift shop and sitting area plus displays. You will find this place on Route 66, the actually iconic Route 66. If you find it after McDonald's, Dolly, Dolly Partrons and Walgreens, you pass the West Prong Little Pigeon River, but if you pass Douglas Dam Road, you have gone too far. It's open seven days a week, 9am to 5pm, under it, are for free, so good for petrol head families. Eight to twelve year olds is only five dollars, and adults only eleven dollars, which is a bargain considering this um, 90 cars museum is worth over eight million. So get down Route 66 to see this. The only place, and it's the only place to see the iconic Vanishing Point movie car. Have you all stopped bickering now? Get no, your facts in! Get all the money! Well, you what? Right, all right, you well, say. You presenters need to decide and budget and structure this show before it comes on air. This is just ridiculous. What well, our mummy sorts that out for us? Your mothers aren't part of the show, they're not hired by Best Automatic. You are, so are you outsourcing your own job? What do you mean by that? I don't know. Your mothers are not under contract. They're not under the work contract. So that's a sackable offence. Again. What do you mean a sackable offence? Because my mum helps me out. Yeah, because you're a grown adult. Your mum. Your mum helps you. Yeah, no, that's no. That's what she does. No. Oh. I have it all right. All right. I'm just glad that I'm not salty air colours. None of your parents that's or anyone else is, is meant to be a, doing this. It's a plastic. Uh, movie. Well, I've said more facts than you know as a presenter. Do I need to have a word with the presenters well, again? This is ridiculous. Like, well, you meant to be on about the vanishing Look, point car. You shouldn't have let her talk all that fancy stuff about who's not insulting the police with nasty names. We did insult the police with nasty names. Well, yeah, well, because you're editing. Well, you didn't call them a smoke. Because you're editing it. Babble gambishy. So sorry, smoking in the Aye, your editing's that bad you didn't even let me finish the F's under that. Your F words? You can't be saying F words. I what can't. about Aaron, you say the F word, didn't he? At least I didn't say the C word. I don't say the C word at all. Well, I say them words, but obviously it's just swear words or crude words you're not allowed to use. We're not allowed to swear, my mum. Well, I'm not. Just because I say F words. My mum does a clip round here. I'm my big brother and all that. Like your mum don't do bugger off and put you in your naughty corner. Oh, please, you're you. You're bad enough going in the naughty corner. Well, you guys just please just get an old fashioned dictionary book or get an app so you what can you start learning. I'm read. I'm not reading. Well, you need to expand your vocabulary and understand that not all C words, F words, and S words are all swear words. It's abbreviation for what the letter that it's beginning with. And there's loads of words under that. You need to get a dictionary or at least learn your alphabet. She's trying to teach us to read, isn't she? 
You yeah. should be able to read by now. Yeah. Otherwise, this is why you haven't been able to read your contract. But wait, aren't you about to get all the juices and have to go out as the game runs? Well, I think I have to because I mean, I've no choice because of the insurance. I'm meant to be dealing with that, and I'm trying to get you to all rein in and do your jobs. And I'm not even getting around to interviewing the gimp because of it, because the producers have set me to sort of like improve you all. And this is just ridiculous. This really shouldn't be my job description. So why should I do this if you're not doing your actual jobs and outsourcing it to your own mothers? <laughs> I'm not Miss Know-It-All. What are you doing? I, I don't hardly know anything about no, cars. Me and me. You ruined this, man. Me. You ruined my bet. You no, if you didn't. I want to come it. along in the first place. If you haven't been causing so many accidents and causing so many claims. So if you were trying. here for the murders. That's all. Like a detective and all that. Yeah, well, because of the amount of claims. Because of the amount of claims. Why do you think I'm here? Claims? Yes. We don't deal with that. Our mum said that. Oh. Fires, just be bloody quiet! I was looking forward to watching this one with a classic car on Vanishing Point and you're ruining it! Even my fellow cousin, American fella here! That's right! You're just ruining this! I mean, just let her just explain her stuff, what she's gonna explain to us now! I said, oh, Gavin, shouting and all that lot! Thank you. You're only well getting there, Nickies, or what? Stop and being rude! And listen, a, defin a definition of a contract of employment is a written agreement between an employer and employee. It forms the basis of the employment relationship, so you shouldn't have signed like any legally binding document Denied. if you don't know or understand its contents. So this clearly has created uncertainty with Best Automatic in yourselves. Now your lack of understanding is now brought to light, management will have to sort this mess out. It could result in making your employment null and void, so you'll all don't have legal cover, making my job paperwork very complicated. So I think new contracts of employment will Denied. have to be drafted That's again. Oi, and read and explain to you with time to see independent legal advice before signing. So you will all be temporary presenters again. Is there anything else you should let Best Automatic and the insurance company know before going forward? What, 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 no bet, what? That I bring sandwiches to work. No, what you got on about that, you idiot? I don't know what you're babbling on about. Half of it just goes out one ear, out the other. Oh, that's the problem. That, bruv, one doesn't Denied. go out the other ear because mum keeps clipping it, don't you remember? Oh, no. Yeah, well, that's my excuse. Denied. I've got learning difficulties because my mum keeps clipping me around the ear out. So, I don't know what the hell you're on about and babbling on about. Then you shouldn't sign anything if you're an adult that doesn't understand. My mum signed it. We've mentioned lack of understanding, but in a different context on this show before. Obviously, you need to speak to management and the HR department about this, and should bring this should have brought this to light a lot sooner. And you can't blame your mum on clipping your aunt ear off for causing learning difficulties. That's not the cause, unless she's hit you hard enough that it's classed as a brain injury. Yeah, she's done that, or oh, really hard, and it made it all red and sore. That's on the outside, sir. That's superficial. It's what happens on the inside with the brain. What? What? You bloody bleeding it. So what? Then you need to resolve this in your own time. What? Well, my mum sorts it all out. Right, your mum can't, can't sort this out. Boy. Your mum's aren't allowed. They're not. They haven't signed the contract. The contract is with you, unless your mum's. Which we employ your mothers. Yes, thank you. Exactly. Right, I'd like to point out, out this has got the highest number so far. Yeah, we did with fellas on the artist. Alright, back on this show, everyone. Alright. So we're going back to our usual one. Alright. I bet she's going to pipe on stop talking about some of that, what we can't call coppers. So here it is the video. It's not what you can call and can call police officers. I'm just going through the alphabetical order of slang, um, like I discussed in previous video. However, just want to thank the Irish fellow and the American uh, for getting the show in order after that chaos, and thank you viewers for still watching at this point. 
Now back to Fiverr Hawaii where I was interrupted by bad editing and manners. So hoping I get to finish the F words despite the show schedule to get to do C to I today. Right, uh, where was I? Yes, Five, Five of Hawaii. Five of Ohio TV series set in Hawaii from 1968 to 1980. At the end of its run, it was the longest running police drama in US television history at the time. And it was also very popular UK viewers too. Um, the next word is fizzle. A projacrative name for Swiss, um, for Czech police officers. Sorry about that, I meant Czech, not Swiss. Uh, flat foot a term is likely due to the amount of walking police officers did um, but they're not absolutely certain on the origin they think possibly it's the origin is that the army uh, rejection of men with having flat feet went into law enforcement as a backup career but by 1912 we know flat footed was an insult among US baseball players um, flick uh, French for cop um, Bigging big idiots, slang abbreviation for Federal Bureau of Investigation, but for derogatory, if you can't tell. Also, one of my favourites is Fuzz, as I like the Hot Fuzz 2007 movie, but Fuzz is slang for police force. And I finally managed to fit all the Fs in, so hopefully I'll start from G next time. Right, fellas, do you actually want to add some facts and to this show we don't want to talk about your cheats but you ruined my vanishing point video all that stop being rude again i'm not being rude but you ruined it that's what you did all that i didn't ruin it oh, oh no she's talking all no she can there yeah that's right because your voices are lower so mine has to be because before i was trying to talk over you so that the viewers are actually getting some facts rather than hearing you all bickering this is the best automatic show not the bickering worst presenter show i don't bicker but you came along and you ruined it uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, don't you start you piping up all right yeah well no but don't understand him speaking italian all well, right i understand him it makes more sense than you yeah. statement most of the time. The winner why you must come one, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I, I don't like the police me, because they stopped me having something to eat. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, it was a cheeseburger, wasn't it? Yeah, cheeseburger. Yeah, cheese those Rambos. You know Rambos? I do, but not personally. Yeah, what, what do you mean, not personally? I do. Yes, but I don't. Just shut up! What? The thing is, no way you are you talking nice to the other gays or all might be texting me. Because he's that not shouting at me you? like you are. What do you mean I'm shouting? You don't have you come along, this is my vanishing point special. What? And then you just Exactly come out and 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 your vanishing me. point special and you've done no, none of the presenting for it. Either. And now she's not ignoring me and all that. I'm not I'm ignoring I'm actually I'm trying to that. I'm actually trying to answer you, but you just won't shut up. I like that Irish fella, you tried to break the rules there, didn't you? And you went driving on tarmac. See, that's more like it. You should be talking about the show. Now, yeah, it on. should be, yeah. So about you coming about us fuck fuzz buzzers and all that. Like, I remember them reading backs and all that lot. No, she's all about the um, film. What? There's a film with fuzz buzzers in it? No, idiot. Oh, uh, what, what I started this in the first... Oh, yeah, I know what I started this. You spending the money. That's what you want to be getting at. Here you are. He ruined my video. My vanishing point video. By putting fancy special effects on. I'm wasting loads of... I've got to admit, bullets. that was pretty bad that they cut your graphic budgets just so you can have a fancy one. But this is the things you need to start discussing before doing the show. You should all equally have a graphics budget. You should equally have the same amount of money set that you're allowed to spend. Because, like, you're saving um, Captain Gorgeous, but yet you'll have your co-presenter what's spending probably your what would should have been your budget and his own so these are the kind of things that should be set before even doing this show this is what's creating the chaos and um, i mean now you should all be talking about going around this island and going on about how you got around the pipes but instead you're bickering about things that you should be having meetings over before the show 
Well, quite simple. I will get round the pipes if I haven't got there yet. Yeah, for somebody that started off at the um, beginning with us lot, the, as it's still miles behind us. No, what we did, we got sick and tired of it and we just drove round them. Yes, well, I did it proper. I actually went up to the pipes. You just went dropping down in the beaches, didn't you? So it's coming up to the part of the show to say the end of our finishing point. But don't forget to subscribe to our video editor because he's got his hair cut. So next time, my brother buys this new one, you know, the Hellfire or Demon or whatever it is. That bag of rubbish. I mean, look at it. So, these are always great features to get you all piped up to see my boring brother do his. Because you just missed out on the best one. But that insurance investigator ruined mine. Bye, have a great time. Bye, Melissa. Goodbye. It is super duper.